So apparently I look like a peacock. I, I, I don't understand. I was in the subway. Just waiting for the red line. Because I had doctor's appointment today. And there's a girl down there. It, first off, there was already police at the subway today. There was like a lot of police activities. They were Five of them were taking a dude out as I went in. And then there were three or four more down in the in the tunnel. So, I was already feeling a little sketch about even using this subway for it. But, this lady starts following me. Right? And she's got crazy hair. Not like my crazy crazy, but like... She looked like a scarecrow, right? It's just dry straw sticking up everywhere. I think it was a wig that had never been washed. And so I see her, and my first instinct is uh, steer, steer the other direction. So she was going down the escalator. I decided to take the steps to, you know, try to get away around her because she was staring me down. And I didn't know why. I didn't know the girl. Like, never seen her before in my life. But from the minute we, like, first saw each other, she was staring me down, eyes locked. So I get to the bottom of the staircase. I find a seat. I sit down. I see her coming around to me. And I get up and walk away. This makes her angry. And she starts screaming, well, fuck you. You look like a fucking peacock, you ugly-ass fucking bitch. And I'm like, what is happening? I walked around the um, panels, and she's still following me. So I just made a beeline straight for the police. And she's still following me, walking straight up to the police, just screaming at me, fucking peacock-looking bitch, peacock bitch. I don't know what's happening. So I just kind of gestured backwards, and the police walked towards me. And we're like, do you know her? I said, no, no, I do not. <laughs> and she eventually just jumped on this bus going the other, the uh, subway going the other way. But for like five minutes, she was just following me around and around this this subway, screaming that I looked like a fucking peacock, and that her sister was prettier than me, and I had no idea who she was. <laughs> And the police were just, like, watching. <laughs> I never said anything to her. I should have. I should have told her she looked like a fucking scarecrow because she told me I looked like a peacock a million times. But I tried not to say anything because she was freaking me out. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. <laughs>